everyone. Hi. <laughs> welcome to Streaming Story Time. Welcome, welcome. Hello, friends. Welcome to Streaming Story Time. <laughs> All right. All right. So we're waiting for some friends to come in. All right. As you're coming in, let me know the kids' names and their ages so I can say hi. So if you're just coming in now, welcome to Streaming Story Time, my friends. Hello. I see some people coming in. Welcome, welcome. As you're coming in, just let me know the kids' names so I can say hi in the ages. <laughs> well, my name is Miss Griffin. And so if you were here yesterday, then you saw me there. <laughs> All right, my friends. Hi, welcome. <laughs> Well, I hope you all are having a good day so far. Yeah. Oh, last night in my area, and maybe in your area, we had a thunderstorm. And I had to go all around the house closing all the windows. Woke me out of my sleep. So I'm really glad today to see that we have such a beautiful, sunny day. The rain is always good for the plants and the animals and us, but... A sunny day is always good for the mood, right? <laughs> Hi, Gregory. Hi, Brendan. <laughs> Hi, Alexander. Hi. Hi, my friends. Hi. <laughs> Hi, Athena. Hi. How you doing? <laughs> Hi, my friends. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, if you were here yesterday, you might have seen that I changed my background a little bit. I brought out my very hungry caterpillar doll. And over here, I have my butterfly. I love butterflies, so I have lots of butterfly things around my house. <laughs> I still have the cat in the hat and Olivia cards. I like to get um, character book cards or greeting cards. This one I had up yesterday from Dr. Seuss, one fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. And this is a birthday card um, from here to there, birthday, which is everywhere. This is one I just bought myself because I liked how it looked. And also I had up, you might recognize it, this scene from where the wild things are. And this one's blank where you just write your own message in there. And Recognize this one here, <laughs> the very hungry caterpillar. So whenever I see these, I like to buy them and just keep them. Sometimes I put them up. Sometimes I just keep them in my box there just to have because I like to book related things, of course, being a live brain. <laughs> All right, my friends. Hi, Ansley. Hi, Ansley. How you doing? <laughs> Hi, Aaron. Hi, James. Hi, friends. How you doing? Welcome to story time. <laughs> Hi, Sophia. Hi, Robbie. How you doing? <laughs> All right, my friends. All right. I think we're going to go ahead and get started. <laughs> All right. Well, welcome to Streaming Storytime. My name's Miss Griffin, and I work at the East Roswell Library. So we're going to get started with the mystery box. <laughs> here's my box. And here's my lid. I wonder whatever inside is hid. Should we open it up? Yeah. All right. I'll give you a hint. It is an animal, and it has big floppy ears, and it has a long nose, which we call a trunk, and goes, ah. <laughs> I bet you can guess what it is by now. I think you can. <gasps> what is it? It is an elephant. <laughs> oh, will a wallaby woo? The elephant sat on my shoe. Will a wallaby hand when the elephant sat on my hand? <laughs> Will a wallaby woes? The elephant just sat on my nose. Will a wallaby we? That elephant just sat on me. <laughs> it's a good thing it's a small elephant, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> So I have my little elephant puppet today because our first story is all about an elephant. And this elephant, he's special. <laughs> this story is called Elmer by David McKee. 
There once was a herd of elephants. Elephants young, elephants old. Elephants tall and short, fat and thin. All were different, but all were happy, and almost all were the same color. All except for Elmer. Elmer was not elephant color. He was patchwork. Elmer was yellow and orange and red and pink and purple and blue and green and black and white. Very colorful, beautiful elephant, right? <laughs> it was Elmer who kept the other elephants happy. Their games and jokes were always his idea. If the elephant was laughing, the cause was usually Elmer. <laughs> but Elmer himself was not happy. Who ever heard of a patchwork elephant, he thought. No wonder they laugh at me. One morning, just as the others were waking up, Elmer slipped away. As he walked through the jungle, Elmer met the other animals. And they said, good morning, Elmer. <laughs> After a long walk, Elmer found what he was looking for. A large bush covered with elephant colored berries. Can you see those? Elmer caught hold of that bush and he shook it till the berries fell to the ground. Then Elmer laid down and he rolled over the berries this way and that way. And he picked up a bunch of berries and he rubbed them all over himself till he was covered with berry juice. And when he was finished, there wasn't a sign in any yellow or orange or red or pink or purple or blue or green or black and white. Elmer looked just like any other elephant. On his way back through the jungle, Elmer passed the other elephants, Elmer, other animals, and they said, Good morning, elephant. They didn't recognize him, right? When Elmer rejoined the herd, none of the other animal elephants recognized him. Oh, no. There he is right there. As he stood there, Elmer felt that something was wrong. But what? He looked around, same old jungle, same old blue sky, same old rain cloth, same old elephants. The other elephants were standing there absolutely still, silent and serious. Elmer had never seen them so serious before. It made him want to laugh. Finally, he could bear it no longer. He lifted his trunk and at the top of his voice, he went, with laughter. Then the others began to laugh. <laughs> Too bad Elmer isn't here to share in the fun, they said, laughing harder and harder. <laughs> and then the rain cloud burst. And when the rain fell on Elmer, his patchwork started to show again. Oh, Elmer, said an old elephant, you play some good jokes, but this has been the biggest laugh of all. What would we do without you? We must celebrate this day every year, said another, the day of Elmer's best joke. All of us elephants will decorate ourselves with his honor, said the third, and Elmer will decorate himself elephant color. And one day each year, the elephants color themselves yellow or orange or red or pink or purple or blue or green or black and white and have a parade. And if you happen to see an elephant in the Elmer's Day Parade, who was an ordinary elephant color, you will know it must be Elmer. <laughs> the end. <laughs> I like that story. It sometimes it's special to be special and be unique and be yourself, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right, my friends. I brought another long, along another little puppet friend. He's very small. Little monkey. <laughs> All right. The itsy bitsy monkey climbed up the coconut tree. Down came a coconut and hit him on his knee. Ouch! Along came his mommy who kissed his pain away. And the itsy bitsy monkey climbed up the tree again. <laughs> That song sounded familiar, right? What did that song sound like? Did it sound like the Itsy Bitsy Spider? <laughs> I think we should sing that together. All right, get your spiders together. You ready? All right, let's go. The Itsy Bitsy Spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out, 
came the sun and dried up all the rain and the itsy bitsy spider climbed up the spout again yay <laughs> one of my favorite rhymes songs there <laughs> all right my friends you ready for the next story well this story is about some silly monkeys actually eight silly monkeys let's count them together got one two three four five six seven eight Eight silly monkeys, eight silly monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called a doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. You think the monkeys are going to be good to stop jumping on the bed? We'll see. Seven silly monkeys skipping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called a doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys skipping on the bed. You think they're going to be good? No way. <laughs> Six silly monkeys tumbling on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called a doctor and the doctor said, No more monkeys tumbling on the bed. So they didn't tumble on the bed anymore. They are five silly monkeys dancing on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called a doctor and the doctor said, No more monkeys dancing on the bed. Are they going to be good? Absolutely not. <laughs> Four silly monkeys eating on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mom called a doctor and the doctor said, No more monkeys eating on the bed. So they didn't eat on the bed anymore. <gasps> Three silly monkeys swinging on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mom called a doctor and the doctor said, No more monkeys swinging on the bed. So they didn't swing on the bed anymore. <gasps> Two silly monkeys sliding on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, No more monkeys sliding on the bed. So they didn't slide on the bed anymore. <gasps> Uh-oh. One silly monkey spinning on the bed. He fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, No more monkeys spinning on the bed. But... Nobody mentioned anything about jumping on the couch. Oh, no. Those naughty little monkeys. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. So let's do another song together. We're going to do a movement song. And this one, I think you all might know. So we'll do it together. It's the head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Do you know that song? All right, let's start. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Eyes, and ears, and mouth, and nose. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Good job, my friend. <laughs> All right, you ready for our next story? Another silly story. This one is called Silly Sally by Audrey Wood. Silly Sally went to town, walking backwards upside down. On the way, she met a pig, a silly pig. They danced a jig. <laughs> silly Sally went to town, dancing backwards upside down. On the way, she met a dog, a silly dog. They played leapfrog. Silly Sally went to town, leaping backwards upside down. On the way, she met a loon, a silly loon. They sang a tune. <laughs> silly Sally went to town, singing backwards, upside down. <laughs> On the way, she met a sheep, a silly sheep. They fell asleep. Now, how did Sally get the town sleeping backwards, upside down? Along came Nettie Buttercup, walking forwards right side up he tickled the pig who danced a jig he tickled the dog who played leapfrog he tickled the loon who sang a twig and he tickled the sheep who fell asleep and he tickled sally who woke right up and she tickled nettie buttercup <laughs> and that's how sally got to town Walking backwards, upside down. <laughs> the end. <laughs> I like the rhyme in that story. Silly Sally. All right, my friends. I want to let you know that this month is 
National Poetry Month. And poetry can be shared by everyone, adults and teens and children. So I want to share a poem with you from this book. It's called, Here's a Little Poem, a Very First Book of Poetry. And there's lots of poems in here, but I want to share this one with you. It's called, After a Bath. After my bath, I try, try, try to wipe myself till I'm dry, dry, dry. Hands to wipe, fingers and toes, two wet legs and a shiny nose. Just think how less, much less time I'd take if I were a dog and could shake, shake, shake. And this poem was written by Eileen Fisher. <laughs> All right. So I hope you enjoyed that, my friends. All right. So we're done with all of our stories and our rhymes and our songs. So now we're going to do our goodbye rhyme. And all you have to do is wave your hands. Can you do that with me? This is the way we wave goodbye, wave goodbye, wave goodbye. This is the way we wave goodbye to all our friends. All right, my friends. <laughs> I hope you have a wonderful day. And I hope you enjoyed our stories and our songs together. And I hope you have